What's up guys? Welcome back. I know it's been a month since I uh, posted a video. Um, a lot of things happened. Um, one, got, finally got COVID. That knocked me on my ass so bad because that was the first time ever getting it. And uh, yeah, I was bedridden, cold chills and everything. You know, all the good works. But now I'm back. So the thing too is uh, I've been on, on a little decline at this moment. Um, currently I have no work, uh, not for a week. What happened is uh, I was at work and I got a phone call from another employer and they offered me a position that offered more money. And uh, well, word got around in my work and unfortunately they just let me go. They didn't let me have my two weeks or anything. They just let me go. So I've been kind of jobless for the past couple of weeks until this coming Monday uh, from the time of this video. And so I have just been trying to relax, trying to figure out my situation at the moment. But I have gotten back together and hopefully I'm going to be making more videos soon. So let me show you what I got today. As you see, I am not on a concrete slab. I'm actually home. I have brought the Geo home with me rather than being uh, about like a 25 minute drive on the other side of town. Uh, decided to bring it here because it'd be a little more easier for me to work on and yeah it was actually pretty easy to drive this thing over here well I trailered it then I drove it into the yard so today I am going to fix this door because right now it is unlocked it is fully unlocked the only thing is the rod in there broke so now I gotta go to the passenger door open it this way and boom gotta do that so that's not fun. But today, what I got right here is a window regulator for the driver's side door. Because what happened is um, a couple of years ago, my grandfather drove this car all the time. Drove it here to Laughlin, to Las Vegas, to LA, to Dallas, Texas, to New Mexico, Albuquerque, and uh, Phoenix many times. Just drove it everywhere. He loved this car. Well, during half of that time, he has been using a pair of pliers on the window regulator and it's completely damaged to where I can no longer roll it up or down. Plus this track has been jamming up a lot. So I found this window regulator for like 50 bucks on eBay, not too bad. And I am going to be installing it into the door. Not only that too, the door handle on the inside, it is falling off. So I'm going to think about seeing if I can put a riv nut into there and show you guys exactly what I do. So without further ado, let's get into this nice by the way, I got there was like spider webs everywhere. Let's get into the car. As you can see, I got the shocks. Got my everything in here. Very dirty in the inside. Yeah, not too much. But uh, let's open the car door. So. Ugh. See, it opens. So yeah, not too bad. So what I'm going to do is get it far away from this area. I'm going to drive it over in that little area. Just because uh, I want to be, you know. Not here, over there is gonna be a little bit more shade. And I know I don't have any shade above me, but what's gonna happen is when the sun sets over there, it's going to give me shade. It's gonna give me a little better uh, surface. So let me get this thing started. All right, let's see if this thing can start still. Got a little bit of gas in here. There we go. So as you can see, it broke in. Yay, not okay. So I'm gonna see if I can try to fix that. Okay, got the car over here. So, first things first, you got to do is, of course, knock off the door panels, take this little guy off, and unscrew that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try to save this because it is completely destroyed down there, but I'm going to try something at least. If not, I'm going to have to add something to this to open and close the door easier for me. So, let's begin taking it off. Okay, I already took off the first half, as you can see. I got right here in my hand the top portion of it. Uh, it is getting a little old. I'm thinking about cleaning it, but not right now. Uh, I'm going to fix that weather stripping because it is still good. It's just, yeah, there's nothing holding it. <laughs> but if you're all wondering, you can see it's a two-piece uh, door panel. So easy enough to just pull off. There's a number three uh, Phillips head right here and down here. And that pulls out with it. And that uh, helps you, you know, take everything off. See, I wasn't joking. You have to use this. Even though the window regulator moves pretty good right now, 
It's just because I don't like how I have to do this and I can no longer put a handle crank and I'm trying to make this thing nice to daily drive. So I am going to be replacing the whole thing. Wish I can just buy those separately, but I'm just going to fully replace everything. And plus it gives a good little tutorial how to do with these. So next you would have to take off these number three Phillips screw heads in here. That releases the window and I should be able just to pull it up. Well, that's not good. The inner, uh, the outer weather stripping is completely done. You cannot find these anymore. So uh, garbage, gonna have to run without it. But it is out, the window's completely out. It is now just bare door. Um, I would clean that, but I'm too lazy, <laughs> just like the rest of us. So next would be to take off the rest of the Phillips screw heads and they should be able to come out easily. All right guys, looks like I got it out and ran into a problem. This is for the Geo Metro. Everything looks seems to be fine. It's just that little piece right there that's just destroyed. Went to the new one, and obviously, as you can tell, those do not match. I uh, looked up the part number. Even though on eBay it said for Geo Metro, this belongs to a Suzuki Swift. So the only real way to make this thing fit is to maybe drill new holes into it, but I really just don't want to because, yeah. But what I can do is definitely work on the door right here to make sure it can open and close again. It'll be a little more easy without the window this time. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to have to uh, do something about that because obviously that is not the right one. Okay, guys, got it in the front yard. Got that. And yes, I did read the comments about the uh, nozzle for the spray bubbles, whatever. Um, tried it. I had to send it back because the one I got was broken. So waiting on another one. And you be quiet. And uh, yeah, just going to do that. So for now, hand washing this little bad boy. So let's begin. Well, I'm about to do it. You stop. I'm about to do something our guys should do, but I'm going to do anyway. Well, so far, it's clean. I know that master cylinder is uh, shitty, but I got a brand new one because the brakes still don't work. Uh, that thing's going to interrupt me every time. Huh? The coolant reservoir, it looks clean, but really all that is really rough because of this. Um, the plastic's ready to fall apart, so I may have to get a universal one to fix that. Um, radiator, it looks junky. This is bothering me. All of this is just the primary color of the, of the car, as you can see from the engine bay and stuff like that. The green was original. They just didn't paint the rest. As you can tell from the inside right there, it is green. So my plan is to eventually in the future, wire tuck everything, yank the engine transmission out, and repaint the whole engine bay because that that does not fit my needs. Stop. So yeah, that's the plan. I just finished washing the engine bay. I just got to finish cleaning the rest of the car, and then yeah, so be time. Yeah, this car hasn't been cleaned for a long time. Oh yeah, if you're wondering too why I'm using my cell phone rather than GoPro. Uh, can't find the batteries. I'm too lazy to find them. So, gonna have to work with this. But luckily, the phone does really good quality of work. It's just hard to do both at the exact same time. <laughs> Alright, there we go. She is all clean. I'm cleaner than what she used to be. Um, she looks a little bit better. Uh, definitely have to work on the paint, like, really buff it out. The color's still there. It's just the roof is really, like, sun baked, as you can tell. And the clear coat's starting to come off, but I'm going to see if I can use some rubbing compound. See if I can bring her back to life. Meanwhile, still got to work on the headlights, as you can tell. Um, I still got to remove that one and put the actual solid beam in with the other one from a convertible. And then uh, I'm going to see about erasing that. See if I can get it. And put a Suzuki emblem later on. And see if we can call this the Suzuki Swift. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for today. It's going to be a very short video. Just to let you guys know what's happening. Um, brought the Geo to the house. Um, brought, you know, everything that I had to put into this car. Fixed the door, so that's going to be a good thing. Starts, as you can see. It's loud. So I still got to fix the exhaust, fix the taillights, fix the headlights. After that, clean, like super clean this car. And then see if I can take it to uh, emissions and take it to get registered. Because this car means a lot to me. And I really want to see this thing back in the road. Also, too, don't mind about the mess inside. Because remember, I'm going to be cleaning all of it. As you can tell, it's glass right here. It's clean. 
and that's not good for the sun as you can tell with this uh window tent it's got to come all off so i'm going to be seeing if i can get this window off the uh actually i'm just going to see if i can take the car after i get registered to get window tinted so no one can see inside and if you wonder about the tail lights don't worry i got one to work it's just the other one i gotta rewire it uh, i'll show you how it looks like later on i just gotta get some new light bulbs um some of them are burnt but yeah just got window tint them all and yeah and probably find new wheels okay guys so i wanted to say something uh it's been a month now as you want to know lost my job um got covid and a lot of things happened but i'm still on my feet also too i did not realize that the metro finding gold in the junkyard video and the pressure washer video was going to blow up like that so so to all the people who left nice comments and advice and stuff like that thank you so much actually that means a lot to me because i am a small channel i don't even have 100 subscribers also that too thank you for 70 plus subscribers from people from everywhere I even saw i think i know which person here is going to know who i'm talking about he was saying that you know over in australia he loves suzuki swifts and over here in america we have to call them geo metros and uh yeah, I'm going to be converting this into a full-on Suzuki Swift. And I really like the Suzuki Swifts how they look. I got the bumper, I got the taillights, got the headlights, and I got the spoiler, which was really hard to come by. The only thing I'm missing is the hood. Because the hoods are very different from a Geo to a uh, Suzuki Swift. So, if anyone's out there in the United States who has one, let me know, and we'll talk. <laughs> so, anywho... Uh, just like last time thank you for you know checking the channel out if you like everything you like make sure you hit the like make sure you subscribe and also to put in the comments tell me what you want to see on this uh, you know bad boy of a freaking geo because i'm always up to new ideas and if you guys have any uh, upgrades you think will be good let me know so see ya